What's up guys, last week I showed you how I built my gear room and now welcome to the tour of my gear room. The intention of this room was probably to be a pantry but we don't eat over here, we shoot videos. So right when you walk into the gear room you see this workbench in front of the window at the end and this shelf on the right side. I guess let's start with the workbench at the back. So right here in the middle of the gear room I have this small turning chair which it's just enough space for me to turn around and sit on it and work here which I never really did in this year that I used it but it's here, I have it and I just sat on it. You can sit on it for videos, so that's pretty good with this background. Okay, so what do we have on the top of the shelf? We have some decorations, an old VHS camera. This was actually one of my first cameras that I used to shoot with. It has this small, small screen. I don't think it works anymore because it has batteries and this spring is kind of damaged, so. But it reminds me of where I came from. We have this old vintage camera and some vintage lenses, which I actually use sometimes because I have an adapter like this M42 to Sony NEX mount, just some vintage glass. And we have this super ultra wide adapter, which I use for some music videos and just some other lenses. And here we have my first real camera that I used to shoot with. I started out with a Nikon, but this Canon 700D is kind of where I used to start really getting into it and shoot my first videos on. We got the 24 millimeter pancake lens on it, which is pretty neat. And we have some fancy lighting. I don't know if you can see it. This is the red lightning I brought back from my room at my parents' place and just this basic film slate because filmmaking I guess. So that's kind of it from the top area of my workbench. We also have this DJI Spark up here which I don't use anymore. So let's continue with the downside of the workbench. Let me get this out of the way. Oh and also the big camera rig is in the middle of the workbench just to put it somewhere where you can see it easily grab it to go on a shoot and it also looks nice in the background I guess. Moving on with downstairs. Okay so down here this is really harder than I expected to shoot in here. It's really... I'll just sit on the floor and put some b-roll over it. Down here we have my big camera bag filled with all kinds of stuff, small parts and stuff like that. Behind it we have some other old camera bags. Here we have the bag of my Aperture Light Dome Mini 2, which I rarely use because I just leave it as it is, put it in the car, which you can see in my car video. Is it the right side? Maybe here, maybe here. In the video I explained how I pack my car, what I take on a shoot, and you can see I just not put it in the case, but leave it as it is, throw it in the car and we're good to go. Here we have the drone I actually used, which is the DJI Mavic Air 2. And this is a bag of an older camera. Moving down to the last stage, I really gotta make myself small. We have tripods and just light stands in general. This is the bag of my big Manfrotto video tripod. But if I take it out, we can see we just have some basic light stands down here, a monopod, Normally the photo tripod, which the camera is on right now, and just some C-stand accessories, like these legs of C-stand, which are in front of the gear room behind the door. Oh, and we also got a Joby Gorilla Pod. Anyone remember these? Casey Neistat and stuff? Yeah. Oh, and also, I don't know if you can see this. No, probably not. I'm gonna sit on the other side. This really works out. We have a power outlet with a USB adapter which the lightning is plugged into. So the one you saw up here, you just have to plug it in and it's on. Great stuff. Let's move on with this shelf. Okay, so I guess I won't be able to fit any of this on the camera, so I'm just gonna stand here, talk about it and give it some B-roll, which I will be able to film. So starting down here, we have this bag with my three newer LED lights, battery powered. I just put them down there because they're the heaviest, so I put them on the bottom of the shelf. On top of this, we normally have the gimbal, the Ronin S, which you can also see in the car video. And in this corner, we normally have the Ronin M, but since then it's so fully packed this room that I can't stand in here. I just took it out for the video. On top of it, I normally have my grocery bag, which I also talked about in the other video, which I normally put my audio bag and this Godox light for my Aperture Light Dome Mini 2 in. On the second level of the shelf, we have these two old RGB lights, which I bought back in I don't know, 2018, 2019, which are not that good. I never used them again after I bought the ones you saw at the bottom, so I just have them there. Maybe I'll set them up constantly in a new apartment, so they're not that useless, but for now I just keep them here. Out of sight, out of mind, I guess. And right next to it, we just have a random box, which a client sent me, and this reflector. On the third floor is the most important stuff. Again, as I already mentioned, the Godox light and the audio bag on top of it with just these cables thrown right next to it. And two of these dust-free multi-level organizing boxes, which I have just some charging cables in and these bits and bobs. I'll just give you some b-roll so you can see what's in it. And the fourth floor is the most messy and random one. I just put all of these things I have from shoots and from clients up here just to not throw them away, but kind of save them and just kind of have it as a souvenir. I have this Kuno Naga. Nope, this is from Henkel. Just the cap from them. Up here we have the Kuno Naga one, so I just can sneak into their offices if I want to, I guess, because I still have their CI stuff and this vest that you have to put on if you film in dangerous spots like on a construction site or on a racing track. And what else do we have here? Just some gaffer tape, a random vlogging camera, which I also made a video about it. Feel free to watch it. My JBL box. Oh, I also made a video about that. Also linked up here. And you also 
gotta have some guns if you're a filmmaker, right? So let's go back to this setup. That was disappointing. Now that's it from the Gear Room Tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you now want to see the process of building this gear room, click here. If you want to see a tour of the office, click here. And if you want to see a tour of the entire apartment, click here. And you can also subscribe right here. And that's, that's everything I wanted to say, I guess. Did I manage to do it? Okay, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.